Hello everyone, this is Nurmal here for Technique and in this video we will share some of the simple tricks and tricks you can try out on the Xiaomi Redmi 4A. So Redmi 4A comes with Android 6.0 Marshmallow and we have the uh, MIUI 8 on top of that and MIUI 8 as you all know is a really custom UI and which offers additional features, tools and uh, support for themes where you can customize the device. Now in this video we will uh, share some of the simple tips and tricks you can try out on the Xiaomi Redmi 4A which runs the MIUI 8. So let's get started with the tips and tricks. And so first step, let's show you how to edit the uh, cube toggles area and the notification center. So if you just pull down, you can see four of the icons. If you just again pull down, you can see additional uh, cube toggles area. And you can also see there is a more button. So we just press the more button. So if you press the more button, you can uh, have this option to edit uh, the toggles. Uh, first of the toggles available can be rearranged. You can just uh, drag and rearrange these toggles. And some of the uh, toggles which are not available can be uh, actually uh, dragged. And uh, say for example, if you just want uh, do not disturb, you can just drag and drop onto that. And then um, once you go back, you can uh, see those options available here. So that's how uh, you can uh, rearrange the cube toggles. Now if you just uh, swipe up uh, here and you can see there is option to move apps, wallpaper and also FX. So FX are self-explanatory, you have some uh, uh, transition FX included and one of the options, uh, useful options is move apps. So we'll just show you that. Say for example, if I want to uh, move two apps uh, from one home screen to another, I have just uh, tap that and just uh, if you go to the new home screen, uh, new screen you can just tap on it and it will be moved uh, to the new screen so this is a uh, useful when you want to move a lot of apps to a newer uh, home screen and if you want to uninstall multiple apps say for example if i'm just trying to uninstall these two apps you can just select these two apps and then um, you can just combine them and then uh, drag and drop onto the top option so this means uh, uh, these two apps will be uninstalled together and you can see uh, uh, this are uninstalled right now so this is a really useful option because uh, when you are uninstalled Installing multiple apps, uh, you need to uh, install one by one, uninstall one by one. But here you can uh, completely uninstall all the apps which you want in one go. That's a very useful option in uh, Xiaomi's uh, MIUI. Now, if you go to the security app, we have some additional options. You can uh, see uh, there are some options. Uh, uh, a cleaner is included. You can uh, just uh, clean uh, junk files, cache, packages, residual files. All those things can be cleaned up. And you can also do a deep clean if you feel uh, your storage is uh, uh, getting full. Deep clean allows you to see which all are the uh, files which are taking up the storage the maximum. And you can selectively clean uh, those options. So that's another useful option. Then you have this data usage. You can uh, restrict background data and data usage can be set and there is a, a block list and permissions and if you go to the battery there is a battery saver option and uh, you can uh, set uh, uh, schedule the time to switch between different modes you can uh, uh, set uh, uh, the uh, time interval where you want to enable the battery saver so that's uh, another useful option then uh, if you go here there are additional options um, like second space so that will come uh, in the settings panel and here this is the settings panel and uh, here we have some useful options one if you go to the display we have this uh, option uh, for double tap to wake so just turn this on and you have this double tap to wake uh, enabled on your display so if you just turn off the display and if you double tap it will turn on so that's a very useful option then uh, you can enable the reading mode so the reading mode uh, is a very important and useful option that means it will uh, reduce the screen glare uh, for reading so if you're uh, reading late night uh, with uh, that uh, lights turned off this is very useful option this will uh, reduce the glare on your eyes and um, uh, this will make the reading experience much better so that's the reading mode you can also schedule the reading mode and there is also option to uh, change the color and contrast for your display so these are some useful options in the display settings now uh, let's go to the second space so second space is basically creating an additional space on a smartphone say for example if you want to segregate your office and homework uh, differently you can create a second space where uh, the apps uh, we, uh, when you use at office uh, you will be switching to the second space and when you come back home you will switch to the primary space so this way you will not uh, mess up with your office files and uh, your files or uh, your leisure files so this is one useful option and uh, this can be turned on from here 
So now we have created the second space and you can see uh, this is the second space and you can move data from the first space and you can also make a switch to the, diff uh, the uh, previous space. So uh, this is uh, the second space. So now if you switch back, uh, you can uh, go back to uh, the home uh, the space that's primary or the default uh, space. So uh, second space is uh, basically having a different area where you can set your own pin password. Uh, if you have a uh, uh, different uh, pin for home and work, you can set that as well. So that's very very useful option uh, in Xiaomi's Mi UI 8. Now there is also light mode uh, so what it does is use, it brings a simplified home screen and menus and uh, this is especially useful for elderly people. Then if you go to the additional settings so uh, we have this child mode so again that is self explanatory we have a uh, uh, child mode enabled uh, you can uh, just enable this and you can uh, select uh, a password or a pattern uh, to unlock the uh, child mode and then you can also select the apps which you want to enable in the child mode say for example if you want uh, some uh, educational apps uh, or um, uh, some games to be enabled in the child mode you can do that and only those games or apps will be accessible in the child mode and you can also set a different password for the child mode so that's a very useful option then uh, you have this quick ball settings so quick ball was again available with mi ui 8 and if you turn on the quick ball you have this uh, on screen uh, ball we can uh, see that uh, uh, this has some additional options like locking screenshot and you can also do some bit of customization here so that's the very useful option uh, in um, uh, this quick ball so that can be enabled uh, from here and you can also uh, select the shortcuts and uh, the gestures uh, for this um, uh, cube ball so that's the option available in cube ball now there is 100 mode and uh, if you want the screen size to be still reduced this is a 5 inch screen size you can make it uh, to 4 inches or 3.5 inches if you want a still a smaller screen size so that's option is available and then uh, there is an option called button so what it can do is uh, you can automatically disable navigation button that means these buttons can be disabled uh, for specific apps so if, for example if you're playing games and you accidentally touch the home button or the back button so that can be uh, uh, annoying aspect so for that you can just uh, disable uh, the navigation button for any selected app and when you are using that app the navigation buttons will not be available and you can uh, double tap uh, on any navigation button uh, to enable it so that's a very useful option and you can also customize this home button etc then uh, there is also me mover app so this is a very useful app uh, where you can uh, receive files uh, uh, or send files uh, from different uh, devices so that's a very useful option then uh, now coming back uh, we have uh, dual apps option so dual apps basically allows you to run multiple instances of the uh, same app uh, concurrently on your device say for example if i turn on this so right now uh, it's creating a dual app profile so i can uh, log in uh, with two accounts on the same device on facebook so that's a very useful option especially if you are using two sim cards for whatsapp and uh, this will uh, create you can see here now right now i have created another facebook account with um, uh, so we have a facebook account here and this is the second uh, or the dual uh, pro facebook profile so these two accounts are completely different and uh, these two can run simultaneously with the uh, two different facebook accounts so that's a very useful option mm -hmm. so that's dual apps and you can enable uh, dual apps for all these um, uh, apps so that's a very useful option then you have this app lock so we can set a password for apps so that means whenever you open the app you need to enter the pin or a password uh, or a pattern to unlock the app so you can just select uh, those apps and you can just set a uh, password and whenever you are opening that app it will ask for the password then if you go to the notification and status bar uh, you can also see uh, there is option to edit uh, the carrier name uh, show connection speed and notification icon so uh, those options are also included now if you go to the lock screen we have this pocket mode uh, that is um, uh, when the phone is placed in the pocket uh, this will prevent accidental touch gestures so that can be enabled and you can also enable uh, or launch camera from uh, pressing down the volume uh, key twice uh, so that's that's a pretty useful option to quickly launch the camera so that can be also enabled from here so these are some of uh, uh, the useful features and tools available in uh, the Xiaomi's Redmi 4A with the MIUI 8. So if you have this device, you can try out some of these options. So these are really useful and customizable options. And on top of all these things, you have this themes app where you can download additional themes. So there are lots of themes to choose uh, here and you can download and do a customization here. So if you want to mix and match different themes, all, all you need to do is to download the theme. Just go to this icon and uh, you can customize a theme. Uh, 
we have the lock style status bar icons messaging dial pad and favorites uh, tray and then uh, you can create a different uh, or customize the theme uh, based on different themes downloaded so this is one uh, useful option if you're looking for more customization so these are the tips and tricks you can try out on the redmi 4a hope this video was uh, helpful if you have this device do try out these uh, options so they are really useful and make this device really better with this customizable miui 8 so thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day